What's going on, doll fans? It is your boy Dylan, and I got a short one for you today. Just a couple quick updates, as there's no uh, practice today or anything like that. Uh, they have the day off before they play their second preseason game tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so it's just a couple roster moves and um, you know injury updates. So. The first thing I wanted to mention is is that Sam McGuavin was removed from the COVID list, which is good news. Uh, and in a corresponding move, they have also waived cornerback Terrell Bonds. Um, yeah, so because you know they 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 have to stay at 85. So when bringing him, you know, bringing him back, uh, Sam McGuavin, they had to release somebody as well. Uh, also, a couple quick injury updates. Uh, let's see, as far as Wolf Fuller goes, according to Barry Jackson, Fuller's lower body injury, which has sidelined him for three weeks, is not serious, a source reiterated. He has been seen walking on the field and riding the exercise bike without apparent discomfort. The Dolphins expect him to play in week two after serving an NFL suspension in week one. Okay, so, I mean, not that there's really actually even much of an update there. Uh, it's just a lower body injury, which is, you know, we already kind of got that. Uh, they're not rushing him along. Got that. He serves suspension in game one. Okay, so really not much of an update there. But they expect him to be ready by, you know, the second game of the season against Buffalo. Uh, let's see. Also, according to Jackson, Parker, who has a history of soft tissue issues, should be fine for the opener, barring any sort of health setback. According to a team official, the Dolphins have always been careful with Parker. So there's that. Uh, there is no update on Nick Needham, at least none that I have seen so far. So we're waiting to, to find out if, you know, if it was just dehydration and he was getting cramps or if it was something more serious. So no updates on that yet. But as far as Lynn Bowden Jr. goes, there is an update. They did do MRIs. And it would seem as though the injury is not overly serious. It is a strained hamstring, uh, which could keep him sidelined, though, for, you know, multiple weeks. That is a possibility. And there is a chance that he even ends up on injured reserve to start the season. Uh, but we don't know yet. There really wasn't any, like, legit timetables given. They just said that it could, you know... So... My guess is is that, you know, going forward, Brian Flores and the team are just going to say, well, he's day to day, right? Uh, which could mean week to week because they're just super vague and give absolutely no information. So, um, you know, he could be out for multiple weeks. We just have to wait and see. We don't actually have a timetable. So uh, there is that. Um, and that's actually really all I got for you. Just a couple, like I said, uh, just a couple roster moves with Sam McGuavin coming back off the COVID list and Terrell Bonds in a corresponding move being waived. And then obviously these couple updates on these wide receivers, which, uh, you know, we've had a ton of injuries, particularly at receiver so far through training camp. So um, hopefully it gets better, obviously, because you guys know that that is one of my top three concerns is the injury COVID situation for this team. Um, and then obviously, you know, the offensive line and then the overall depth on this roster are my top three concerns. Um, and the, th the three things that I could see being potential, um, you know, killers for this Dolphins team this season. But we will have to wait and see how it plays out. And hopefully it all does get better. Uh, and hopefully those things do not hold us back. Um, so we will see. In any event, we do have our second of three preseason games tomorrow. A lot of people seem to think that tomorrow is going to be the dress rehearsal. I honestly don't really care which one it is. Um, you know, it, it frankly could be either one. It doesn't matter, um, you know, because... Whichever game you make the dress rehearsal, the other game is going to be the one where you really get to see, you know, the, the backups, the second and third stringers. If I had to choose, though, I would say personally, I would actually prefer it to be the third game because, I mean, look, they're going to have two weeks before they actually have to go play another game. 
Um, there's going to be a two-week time period in between preseason game number three and, and the start of the regular season for the Dolphins. Um, so they're going to get plenty of time to rest. You know, I, I, it, to me, there's no concern in that regard because they don't have to play a fourth preseason game. So there is going to be a window for them to rest. Um, and you're going to play the, you, you know, I, realistically, you th- you would think that one of these two games, you're going to play the starters quite a bit. So, um, you know, personally, I would do it third. And then this, this game, have this game be the one where you have, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Either way, it's fine. And, you know, I am looking forward to seeing um, more out of the starters than we did in the last game because, again, I mean, I still have serious and significant questions and, and concerns about this team. So I need, like, you know, I, I, I feel pretty good about Robert Hunt just a quick as, as a quick example and, and to talk about the, the most important or one of the biggest, you know, issues I have is, Robert Hunt, I feel pretty confident about, but the rest of that offensive line, I do not have confidence in yet. I've said, though, that Michael Dieter has been a, you know, pleasant surprise for me to this point through training camp, but the the, the bit that he's done to this point in training camp is not enough for me to say that I have full confidence in him yet. I need to see it again in this game and the next game, and I need to see the, that consistently continue to be the the case throughout the regular season because up to this point he's been a massive massive disappointment so you know i just got to see it man i need i need more i need more before i'm ready to say i have confidence in him and same with you know same with kinley austin jackson i think has been pretty bad to this point so obviously that very much needs to improve but yeah, anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I am hoping for the best. I'm prepared for the worst, but I'm hoping for the best. Um, and so we will see. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments section, of course. As always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero. And with that, I am out. I'll see you all soon. Fins up.